Hi guys, it's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel and to a vlog. I haven't vlogged in maybe a month uh, and I have reasons for that. We're gonna get into it. Um, but I wanted you to know that I'm not giving up vlogging and I'm still here. I actually really love watching vlogs and I feel like that's, that's why I enjoy making them because I understand when you guys say like, how much my vlogs help you calm down or like make you feel productive. That's how I feel when I watch vlogs as well. Um, it's just like hanging out with a friend and like when you live alone like me, I'm always looking to just fill the air with like anything, whether it's a podcast or a long vlog. Um, I'm currently eating some overnight oats that I made and I think I'm gonna make more tonight. So I'll be sure to give you guys the recipe because I am obsessed. I feel like whenever I have overnight oats at a restaurant, they're just way better than I can make them at home. So I've experimented and I did a base of coconut yogurt and these um, Bob's Red Mill protein oats. So it's just like kind of a bit thicker and really filling and it's just delicious because I've been having to eat a really big breakfast every day while doing my SIBO treatment. And I've just been so tired of having toast and eggs and avocado and having to get pans out. And this has been like a perfect solution that's like still really filling, but you're getting the benefits of probiotics, which is so good for your gut. And that's actually one of the things I wanted to talk about. One of the reasons that I haven't been vlogging is because I've been prioritizing my health and it's not fun to have to like kind of stop everything and prioritize your health. And so I've, I've been dealing with that. Um, there's been something pretty difficult going on in my family. So I've been going down to visit them a lot. My washing machine and my apartment has been broken. So I've also been going home and doing laundry for the past month because it's been broken for a month. There's still really loud construction next door. And all of this together has just made it so I didn't feel excited about sharing my life. I was just really trying my best to take care of myself and like keep it together because I think when it comes to vlogs for me and also just making videos and content in general, not only will things perform their best when you're excited about it, but I'm also gonna like feel a lot happier and less stressed if I'm making content that makes me happy. And so doing some more fashion commentary, sit down, chatty videos has been really like filling up my cup creatively because I love to edit and editing a vlog is just pretty straightforward and I do enjoy it. I have always enjoyed the editing process, but editing a video where I can make overlays and draw and use Photoshop just has been really fun and it's also been received pretty well and I feel like it's the first time I've seen growth on YouTube in a really really long time because vlogs for me I kind of just watch the people that I like like sometimes I'll branch out and find new people but I feel like I make vlogs for like my true core audience and then the commentary videos are to hopefully find new people and just create discussion more because I love discourse and like just watching commentary videos. And so it's been fun because I obviously am a very chatty person. I have a lot to say. I actually didn't realize what time it is. I need to head out. I'm filming a reel with Lexi Lombard for her series called Pick My Fit. So if you wanna watch it, I'm sure by the time this vlog is up, it will be live, but I basically am just gonna help her pick out an outfit for her series and I think it'll be a lot of fun. She's She has the best personality. And it is raining so I don't need sunglasses. I am just gonna wear my eyeglasses so I can see better on the roads. Hi Lexi. Hi, guess who picked my fit? Me. Lindsay did a sleigh job. Do I look like Lindsay Rem right now? You honestly do, yeah. I feel like you. <laughs> BTS. Cheers. And it reminds me of like a layered ice cream cake. That was the inspiration. Really? Like Neapolitan? Yes! Wow. Well, I was, felt it. And then this was supposed to be mint chocolate chip. <laughs> it's cute! Thank you. Guess what? It's not the natural day. Natural mama day is today. Back from Lexi's, I also went to Sprouts on my way home because I mentioned in the beginning of this that I wanted to make soup tonight. So I am going to be making a 
white bean and kale soup with chicken because I have been eating chicken. Thought we should address that as well getting into this because I mentioned last year. Last year was the first time I ever had fish and I used to be vegan if you are new here and you have like no idea what I'm talking about. I talked about it in a Q&A which I can definitely link more in depth about trying to be gluten-free, trying to be vegan, and struggling with IBS and a lot of food intolerances. So it just made it really hard to get protein and I felt like I was pretty much sick every day with severe gastrointestinal issues and no one wants that. It's a really hard life to live and so I committed to being gluten-free but I had to let go of being vegan and I had already been eating eggs at that point but I started eating fish and it's been about a full year now. I love eating fish. I'm really good at cooking it now. I feel super comfortable with that, but chicken is so new for me. I, I feel like super proficient in the kitchen. I have great knife skills and like I know most techniques. I know how to cook like vegetables without even looking anything up, but I don't know how to cook chicken and it does scare me. As I continue to treat my SIBO, I have to get even stricter about cutting out onions and garlic and cabbage and kale. And it's just like cut down the amount of foods that I can eat a lot, given that I'm gluten free. So I just wanted to put it out there that I am eating it and be honest because I feel weird about it too, but it's made it a lot easier for me to eat my trigger foods. Like having a soup with beans in it, I usually wouldn't be able to eat my leftovers because it would make me so sick to have it one time. I got organic white Northern beans, a restock of my favorite vegan butter, dino kale and an onion for the soup. My favorite veggie broth because I really don't like chicken broth, I've discovered. I also got some bulk chia seeds and dates because they are so affordable at Sprouts. Almost a pound of dates for $4. So pretty good deal. I'm gonna try and go to Pilates on time and then we will make dinner. Back from Pilates. I am getting ready to make dinner now and I wanted to show you my method of organizing my recipes because I've been meaning to do this for a while. This is how my mom does it. Every time I make a recipe, I print it out and put it into this binder so that the next time I wanna make it, all I have to do is take it out and you can write any notes that you want to on the recipe and you'll remember them for next time. It's just a really easy system. Here's the recipe I'm using tonight. I have made this once before, so I haven't made any changes yet, but I am making this without the strip of bacon. I am using veggie broth and I'm adding some thyme and I think that's about it. Oh, I also like to add wild rice. So I'm gonna cook about a half a cup of wild rice to add into this, just to kind of like bulk it up a little bit. But otherwise, I'm pretty much making it to a tea. It is super comforting and delicious and quick. This has been simmering for maybe 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna add in our wild rice. It's still hot. Now I'm gonna add in the kale and let that wilt. My soup is almost done. I am gonna put some chia seeds in this pickle jar that I just took the label off of. And I feel like it's going to be very satisfying, although I wish I had a funnel. I feel like I just need one at this point. This is so dangerous. I could easily spill all of these chia seeds. <laughs> Hope that was as satisfying for you as it was for me. I am gonna make some overnight oats with these chia seeds soon, but I just like to keep all of my bulk goods in containers where I can see them because then I know when I'm running out. Like I can clearly see I need to buy more white rice or whatever it is, chia seeds. They all last a pretty good amount of time. Our soup is done. It looks and smells amazing. I am gonna top this with a little bit of shaved pecorino and some pepper. I am making overnight oats in my pajamas right now because if I don't, I will be sad to not have them when I wake up, but I am tired. It's 10 p.m. 
One cup of oats, I have these Bob's Red Mill protein oats, three tablespoons of chia seeds, and then for the liquid, you're gonna do one cup of unsweetened almond milk and half a cup of vanilla cashew yogurt. I used this one from Forager, and it measures out to exactly half a cup, so you just need one. It has little flecks of vanilla bean and just like so much flavor, but I do still sweeten it with at least a tablespoon of maple syrup. I think last time I did two, half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of cardamom. And lastly, I'm gonna throw in some slivered almonds. I'm using little Bone Maman jam containers. All right. Overnight oats reveal. Nice and thick texture. I love how chewy dried blueberries are. They are just so delicious. I am getting ready to film a styling video today. So I'm gonna need this camera. I probably won't be able to vlog very much, but I was planning to continue this vlog into tomorrow most likely, which also might be a filming day. Um, I did mention, you know, it's been raining and when it's raining, my living room is super dark and now obviously the sun is back out. So I need to take advantage of it. Um, even if that means maybe filming on a Sunday or a Saturday, I usually try to keep my work days to like a typical work week schedule, but the rain made me lose like three days that I could have filmed last week. That is the completed makeup look, but if you are curious what this lip combo is, because I wear it in a lot of videos, it is Urban Decay Naked 2 Lip Liner with Glossier Gloss. This is the stickiest gloss, so I always wear it for nights out or if I'm filming and talking a lot, but on kind of like an everyday basis, I prefer the, say, Glossy Bounce. It's just a lot lighter. It's more of like a lip oil, and if I'm not wearing this lip liner, I am likely wearing Pillow Talk or Iconic Nude, just depending if I want something more pink or more nude. And then this one's kind of a little bit peachy. It's kind of like in between. Those are my go-tos. And now I need to like sync up my microphones and get to filming that longer video. So kind of wish I had some caffeinated coffee right now. This is my test shot to make sure that my little feet are in frame because I've made that mistake so many times um, and that my microphone is on. My apartment is a mess. I just filmed for two and a half, close to three hours and my hands are shaky. I feel just kind of exhausted from talking. So I might not have a lot to vlog for the rest of today. I think I'm gonna go walk and get a smoothie. I could make one here, but I just like need to go outside. I just cleaned up my entire apartment, as you can tell, and FaceTimed my sister while doing it. And now I am unboxing a lamp, which I got from the brand Gauntry. I have one of their other lamps in my living room, but they sent me a second one, so I think I'm gonna put it on my desk. They're made out of natural materials. This one feels really nice and heavy. That is gorgeous. I love the shape. It reminds me of a planter I have in the kitchen, actually. The other lamp I had on my desk had black feet, and I like that this one is all neutral. That is absolutely gorgeous. It just has such a nice glow. I love that it has a dimmer. Here is my other lamp from Gone Tree. I just love how nice and warm they are. They have like a really good color to them because my apartment actually came with overhead lighting. Just look at how harsh this is. I have never once used this because it makes it feel just like sterile in here compared to this a million times better. Like I, you just can't compare the two. Good morning. I am doing more filming today. So I think I'm gonna do a slick back bun. I've shown how I do this before, but I basically do kind of like a loose slick back in a ponytail. And then once you get it all in place, 
redo the ponytail tighter. This is a silk scrunchie from Crown Affair. I really like them. I feel like they are worth it. And you will have way less bumps than if you kept that original ponytail. Then we're gonna go in with a little bit more gel and a smoothing brush to give you that really smooth finish. Nice and slicked back. There you go. A thing of absolute beauty. This is the almond milk that I use. Can you believe that it gets that frothy and it doesn't have any added ingredients? I know, it's pretty amazing. Makeup is now on. I just set up my camera again. Yesterday, I realized I left in way too much ceiling. I like cropped the frame above the top of, what are those? I don't know. Today I'm styling pieces of clothing that I either bought and wore one time or like literally never wore. And I think it'll be really fun. I love filming videos like this, especially when it's sunny, I'm in a good mood. It just, uh, it feels good. I've shellacked this with like hairspray and setting spray. So the face is not going anywhere today, um, but I, I need all of this battery. So <laughs> I, got, I need to stop talking. It is 3.45 and I'm finally eating lunch. I just was talking right through it. I, I just finished filming like maybe 15 minutes ago. I'm now importing the footage onto my computer and there's some loud gardening happening right now, but thankfully they weren't doing that when I was filming. I, I have that issue all the time. If it's not the rain or the clouds, it is construction noise or gardeners. So I just have to like be really flexible and go with the flow and film when it's possible and then edit when I can. Um, that's like the one thing about this job is that you are really in charge of when you do things. So sometimes I do film on the weekends, sometimes I do edit on the weekends, but I, I don't mind. I really like editing and I would rather not be stressed the following week if that means just doing like a couple hours of work on the weekends. And we're doing a date night tonight at Gracias Madre, which is one of my favorite restaurants. Um, so it's so nice to already have like my hair and makeup done. I feel like the outfit doesn't even need to look good. <laughs> Here is outfit option number one. I was styling this blazer that I never wear and I feel a renewed excitement towards it. It's like the perfect oversized fit. And here is option number two. I am wearing the same Reformation t-shirt but with a black skirt with a slit in it, also from Reformation, and my Mary Jeans with socks, which I never do, but I was just trying to truly play around and have fun today with, with new stuff. But as usual, now I need to clean my apartment and eat lunch and honestly be horizontal. So I think I'm just gonna hang out on my couch, maybe read, for the next two hours before it's closer to dinner time, if I can be so real, you know? It feels so good to be horizontal when I've been standing in like heeled shoes all day. My feet hurt after filming, which is like, I don't know, maybe something you wouldn't think about, but um, yeah, I've just been like on my feet all day. I just tidied the whole place. It feels Nice to lay down. I also FaceTimed my family um, because I miss them. And we've been going through something really challenging with my sister's health. Um, I don't want to get into the details of it, but it's just been like months of unexplained pain. And um, it's been really hard on my entire family. I'm very close with my sister. I'm very close with my family. I feel like when one of you is hurting, everyone is hurting. And so I went home last weekend to do my laundry and see them and they took Sammy um, because she just provides so much joy and happiness um, that they really need right now. But of course, when I'm here without her, I really miss her and I also miss my family. Um, so I just kind of wanted to be open about that. It's hard. It's really hard. I'm gonna log off for the rest of the night and tomorrow will just be a work from home day. We'll probably walk and get coffee, and then um, I have a lot of editing to do. It's a few days later. We're cleaning up my depression den, for lack of a better word. I went home to see my family, and now I'm back. Sammy's back. I don't know if she's in frame. 
and I've been living in a bit of a pigsty. So we are gonna vacuum and mop and just get it feeling a lot better in here. But I also wanted to show you guys my Dyson vacuum broke. So I bought like the shark equivalent and I do like it. I like that it stands up on its own. Oh, there she is. She hates the vacuum. I've never met a dog that likes a vacuum, but she hates the vacuum. My makeup organizer has been just so messy lately. I feel like I'm leaving products all over my desk and it's just looking bad. So I decided to pare down the top shelf to the products I use every day. And then I made a box of all my eyeshadows and lipsticks for more going out looks that I don't grab every day. Mopping is definitely my least favorite chore, but it does make a big difference. If you guys have any tips on how to make it more enjoyable, please let me know. But that is it for this vlog. Thanks for hanging out with me. I truly appreciate your support so much and I will be back with some more content and hopefully a new vlog a little bit sooner than this last time. Bye guys.